everybody, it's Miss Marie, and today I am going to be working on making some decorations for my house for winter. Now that the holidays are over, I still love winter, I love the snow, so I'm going to be working on some paper snowflakes. Um, that's what you're going to see me doing while we're talking. And I am going to hang them in my windows just to enjoy having some winter decorations because right now we are going to be welcoming winter. That's going to be our story time for today. Welcome winter. And we're going to be reading all kinds of great books about fun things to do in the winter, like sledding and um, things you might see in the winter. And so I hope you'll stick around and join me. And here's my first snowflake. I made a square one. I'm going to be hanging it in my window. And then I'll be going upstairs to read you some stories. Okay, see you soon. Our snowflake song, our welcoming song. Here we go. Snowflake, snowflakes, dance around. Snowflakes, snowflakes, touch the ground. Snowflakes, snowflakes, in the air. Snowflakes, snowflakes, everywhere. Snowflakes, snowflakes, dance around. Snowflakes, snowflakes, touch the ground. Great, let's go have some stories. All right, everybody, are you ready to hear some nice, welcoming winter so uh, stories? We are going to be reading stories today all about winter. And I'm pretty sure you can see out my window across the, the way there is my neighbor. They are doing their laundry. And you can see the steam coming up because it's so cold outside. So we're going to read this book today, First Snow. Now, I know we've already had our first snow, but I really like this book. It's super cute, and it's written and illustrated by Peter McCarty. And I just like the way he does these, these little animals. They're, they're like all kind of realistic and black and white, and then he puts them in these bright colored outfits, which I really like. And look at that beautiful snow coming down. You know I love snow, so. And let's see, this book is published by Balzer and Bray. And here you see a little guy showing up in a taxi cab. Hmm. From the window, Sancho and his sisters could see that their special visitor had finally arrived. He had traveled from far away all by himself. Can you see the little, the little guy from the taxi is right there outside the, with the suitcase. He must be visiting. Say hello to your cousin Pedro, said their mother. Hello, Pedro, said Sancho, Bella, Lola, Eva, and Maria. They're a nice big family, and they're welcoming their cousin. It's starting to snow, Pedro, said Sancho. I have never seen snow. I don't think I will like it said Pedro. Why not? Because it's cold, and I don't like cold. Look at them in their PJs watching the snow come down. Wake up, Pedro! Sancho, Bella, Lola, Eva, and Maria were so excited. It had snowed all night long. You know what that means. Put on your boots, put on your coat, put on your hat and mittens. We are going outside. Ooh. Oh, look at that. And it's cold, said Pedro. <laughs> it does look a little cold, but I think they're all dressed appropriately. You have to move around to stay warm, said Sancho. We are making snow angels, said Bella, Lola, Eva, and Maria. You make one too, Pedro. I don't want to lie down in the snow. It's cold. Oh, come on, give it a try. <laughs> Just then, the neighborhood children came by. This is my cousin Pedro, said Sancho. He has never seen snow before. Hello, Pedro, they all said. What do they all have? These round discs, these big round discs that they're carrying. Isn't it wonderful how the snowflakes float around, said Abby. You can even catch them on your tongue. It tastes good. It tastes cold, said Pedro. At least he tried it. Hey, Pedro, grab a sled, said Henry. We're going up to the top of the big hill. Oh, they've all got their sleds. We have a great hill at the end of my block that we go sledding on. Why do you go up, asked Pedro. To go back down, said Henry. Oh, look, they've even got a little baby on the sled that they're towing up there. From the top of the hill, the children could see the whole world below. 
You go first, said Henry. Mm, no, no, not me, said Pedro. Look at them all up there waiting. It's so exciting. Bridget and I will go first, said Chloe. Down went Chloe, down went Bridget. <laughs> I like a sled that two people can go in. That's fun. Then everybody went. Pedro, too. Oh, good. He's having fun, too, now. I see a lot of people with extra people on their sled, which is fun. Whoa, yelled Pedro. Watch out, yelled Sancho. Uh-oh, is he going too fast? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Over a bump and into the air, Pedro flew. Thump, thump, thump. He went into the snowbank at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> His hat even got blown off. But he's smiling. How do you like the snow, Pedro? asked Sancho. I love the snow. Maybe you would like snow in the shape of a ball, asked Sancho. What's he going to make? What are they going to do? What's snow in the shape of a ball called? A snowball. For the rest of the day, Pedro did not feel cold at all. I like them all throwing snowballs at each other, rolling around in the snow, having fun. Probably going to build a snowman later. Not at the end of the story. More wonderful snow on the end papers, too. And I thought that was a really cute book. And you can see on the back a little friend showing up with a sled. And um, I just thought that was super special. And it reminded me of this next story that I would like to do on the board. Now, in our book, we saw as many as two kids on a sled. What if you could have 10 on a sled? And then we could do it as a flower board or storyboard. So I've drawn a big sled here, and it is really big. And luckily, the background is white, so it looks like snow. And then we are going to imagine this story taking place in the Arctic, where there's hardly any sunshine in the wintertime. It's very cold, very dark. But this one is a night where the sun is actually shining, and it's called Ten on a Sled, and starts off on a sunlit night neath a snowy moon. There was one on the sled, then two, but soon there were one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten. Oh my goodness, there were ten on the sled. And the caribou, that's this animal here, said, It's snowing, get going. So they all got going, but hair hopped out. Hair is another word for rabbit, so hair is going to hop out over here. There were nine on the sled, but the caribou said, It's slip over, slide over. So they all slid over, but seal slipped out. And I like saying that, seal slipped out. So now how many are left? Eight. Oh my goodness. There were eight on the sled and the caribou said, it's slicker, go quicker. So they all went quicker, but sheep shot out. Sheep shot. <laughs> sheep shot out and he's off the sled. So how many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven on the sled, but the caribou said, we're gliding, keep sliding. So they all kept riding, but walrus whirled out. Whirling out. <laughs> Hi, walrus. There were six on the sled, and the caribou said, we're lighter, hold tighter. So they all held tighter, but fox flipped out. <laughs> Flip it out into the snow. There were five on the sled, and the caribou said, great thunder, duck under. So they all ducked under, but squirrel squeezed out. So how many are left? One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. There were four on the sled, and the caribou said, We're they're chasing, keep racing. So they all kept racing and wolf wiped out. Oh dear. There were three on the sled, but the caribou said, They're winning, no spinning. So they all quit spinning, but moose muddled out. 
I like that word too, moose muddled out. So how many are left? Two. There were two on the sled and the caribou said, keep trying, we're flying. So they all both kept flying till Bear bailed out. Bear has had enough. So now there's only one on the sled and the caribou said, I'm only so lonely. I'm chilled to the bone. I like flying, but never alone. So he doesn't want to be alone. So what should he do? One through 10 leaped on again for one more run and a little more fun in the moonlit land of the midnight sun. And look, there they go. Now there's 10 on the sled again, and they're gonna try to go sledding again because it's more fun to sled with friends than to sled alone. <laughs> And that sled looks really full. I bet it goes very, very fast. I think the more weight that's on the sled, the faster it goes. And so that is called 10 on the sled. And I hope you like that one. Are you ready for another book? This book is about something that you see when it snows. Um, and it's called Super Truck. And it is by Stephen Savage, written and illustrated. And it's published by Roaring Press Books. And there's a, like a garage and two eyes, it looks like, peeking out. Super truck. The city is full of brave trucks. And you can see them very busy on the streets of the city. The bucket truck fixes the power line. There's the bucket truck ready to help fix the power line. The fire truck puts out a blaze. That's a blaze truck. The tow truck rescues a bus. The bus looks very sad, but the tow truck has got it, so it's okay. okay. The garbage truck, he just collects the trash, right? And he seems to be wearing some, some glasses. So he's just a garbage truck, right? One evening, it starts snowing. I love that picture of the snow coming down in the city. It snows and snows and snows. Look, everything is covered by snow. And the squirrel's trying to get through. The city is caught in a terrible blizzard. Can these trucks go anywhere? Stuck in a blizzard like that? Okay, so I think those look a little bit like a disguise. Just then the garbage truck sneaks into a garage and becomes what? Super truck! What is it? Where are the glasses? What did it become? He digs out the west side, he digs out the east side, he digs out the whole city. Oh my goodness. Hooray for super truck! Oh, there he goes, making a path so all the other trucks can get out. Yay, super truck. The next morning, the trucks wonder about the mighty truck who saved them. Where could he be? You see him in his disguise again? Just like Superman, Super Truck disguises himself with glasses. He's just collecting trash. But what do you think? Next time there's a snowstorm, who's gonna be Super Truck again? Put the plow on him and turn him into Super Truck. And there he goes with a, a very knowing smile on his face. He knows he is the Super Truck. That gets them out of the snowstorm. And I thought that was a really fun one for winter. Okay. All right, I hope you have your jingle bells so we can sing our bell songs. Ready? How about shake your bells in the air? You ready? Shake your bells in the air, in the air. Shake your bells in the air, in the air. Shake your bells in the air, then shake them over there. Shake your bells in the air, in the air. Let's do it on the side. Shake your bells on the side, on the side. Shake your bells on the side, on the side. 
Shake your bells on the side and smile really wide. Oh, a super smile. Nice. Shake your bells on the side and the side. You can shake them down low. Shake your bells way down low, way down low. Shake your bells way down low, way down low. Shake your bells way down low, then shake them really slow. Shake your bells way down low, way down low. Good job, everybody. Good job. Are right, you ready for ring those bells and then turn around? Ring those bells and turn it around. Ring those bells and turn it around. Ring those bells and turn it around. Ring them for all to hear. Can we stomp our feet? Okay. You don't have to take my word for it. I'm going to stomp my feet. Ring those bells and stomp your feet. Ring those bells and stomp your feet. Ring those bells and stomp your feet. Ring them for all to hear. Good job. How about you march around? I don't have far to go, but you can march farther if you like. Ring those bells and march around. Ring those bells and march around. Ring those bells and march around. Ring them for all to hear. Good job. Now, can you ring those bells and then touch your toes? Ready? Ring those bells and touch your toes. Ring those bells and touch your toes. Ring those bells and touch your toes. Ring them for all to hear. Very good. Very good. Now, do you remember the song, I think we did last week also, the Frère Jacques? All right, we'll sing it in French, and then we're going to sing it in English. Okay, here we go. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines, ding ding dong, ding ding dong. Are you sleeping, are you sleeping, brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Good job, everybody. Good job. Let's see. Let's try another one. How about jingle, jingle, little bell? You ready? Jingle, jingle, little bell. I can ring it oh so well. Ring it fast, ring it slow, ring it high, ring it low. Jingle, jingle, little bell. I can ring it oh so well. You really can ring it oh so well. Terrific. Let's have another story, okay? got one more story to read after doing our wonderful Jingle Bell songs and it's perfect for this because it's called Jingle Jingle and it's written and illustrated by Nicola Smee. I think all of our books today, yes, all of our books today had writers and illustrators that were the same person, which is kind of interesting. I don't know how that happened. All right, Jingle Jingle. And I think you can see this is heading to be a very silly story. And it's published by Boxer Books. Jingle, jingle. Who wants a ride in my sleigh? Asks Mr. Horse. In the old days, horses used to pull sleighs. Sometimes they still do. We do please, Mr. Horse, say cat and dog and pig and duck. And these characters have all been in another book, too. Hold on tight, says Mr. Horse. And off they go. Jingle, 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 jingle. Oh, you know what? you have your jingle bells, you can ring them right now. Jingle, 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 jingle. That was perfect. Let's go over the fields, say cat and dog and pig and duck. Very well, says Mr. Horse, but hold on tight. Look how fun and cozy they look in that sled. And Mr. Horse has a lot of jingle bells on. And off they go. Jingle, jingle, crunch, crunch. Jingle, jingle, crunch, crunch. 
What do you think the crunching is? That's right, it's the snow. It makes a crunching sound. Can we slide down the hill, please, Mr. Horse? Asks Cat and Dog and Pig and Duck. Very well, says Mr. Horse. Is there room for me? Well, because he's got to get out of the way, right? So they can slide down. Where's Mr. Horse going to go? Oh my goodness. He's in the sleigh with everybody else. That is so silly. Of course, Mr. Horse, but make sure you hold on tight, say Cat and Dog and Pig and Duck. And off they go. Jingle, jingle, swish, swish. Faster, faster goes the sleigh. Jingle, jingle, swish, swish. Look how happy they look. Look how happy their faces are. Faster, faster goes the sleigh. Look out, look out. The bunny calling, look out. I guess he doesn't want his snowman to get hit. They're going so fast, all of their little caps got blown off. Whee! Oh no. <laughs> it's just like the song of uh, Jingle Bells. They got out, thrown out of the sleigh. The sleigh got upset. He got knocked over. <laughs> Jingle, plop, jingle, plop, jingle, plop, plop, plop. Cat and dog and pig and duck land in the cold and crunchy snow, and so does Mr. Horse. Oh, no. oh dear, oh dear, oh dearie me, cried cat and dog and pig and duck. Look at the horse stuck in the snow. Oh my goodness, he's big, which means he's harder to get out. Oh, but he finally gets out. Look at his face. That was so cool, says happy Mr. Horse. <laughs> he had fun with that. I don't think he minded at all. Come on then, Mr. Horse, say cat and dog and pig and duck. And off they all go again. Jingle, jingle, swish, swish. Whee! <laughs> and that is the end of the story. In the back of the sleigh. And that was a really fun story. I really enjoyed that one. Okay, so that's the end of our stories for today. If you are going to be doing a craft with us, please stick around. Um, we're going to be making a snowman scene today. So you'll need your snowman stickers, a light blue piece of paper, and if you have it, some crayons. Um, I'm going to use a white crayon to make some snowflakes online. So if you have a white crayon, that would be great. All right, if not, I will see you next week. Bye. Okay, so if you have your craft kit, you have a blue piece of paper. My yours might be a little lighter than this. I don't know which who got this color and who got the lighter blue. Um, and you have a sheet of stickers, and on that sheet of stickers, there is a snow person. And then you can add anything you like to your snow person. Um, I'm going to add this light. No, I'll do the dark blue. Let's do the dark blue scarf, which is very long, but that's okay going to drag in the snow <laughs> that's kind of funny you can add let's see what else do we have here a hat I'll put a hat on my snow person you can add some buttons and let's and you're going to have extra stickers too. So if you wanted to make another snow person on maybe a white piece of paper, you could do that because you're going to have a lot of extras left over. Oh, let's give our snow person some arms. I see arms here, stick arms. There we go. And I think this snow person needs a carrot nose. Now you have two different options. I'm going to go for a very long, silly nose on my, my snow person. <laughs> that is a very long, silly nose. I'm not sure what this part is supposed to be. Maybe. Oh, it was a vest. Okay, so I don't. I if I put the vest on, it's going to cover up the buttons. But you can put a vest on if you'd like. And like I said, there's extra stuff here to do another snow person, or maybe two more snow people. If you have a white piece of paper, I'm going to put some of these snowflakes on, and then. I'm going to draw, oh, here's another snowflake. I'm going to draw my own snowflakes with a white crayon. This is something you can do if you have a white crayon. Um, you don't have to use white, obviously. You can use whatever color you like. But maybe I'm gonna make snowy ground for my snow person to be standing on. 
and then I'm going to draw some snowflakes in the sky up here. And I just do a bunch of lines through each other like that. Those are my snowflakes. Nothing fancy. Nothing hard. And there you have your snow person in a snowy day. All right. I will see you next week. Have a great week. Thank you for coming and joining me.